Today is baking day. I am gonna bake some rushkas. Some of the islands may call rushkilas. These rushkas, my mom used to make it, and uh, I've made it many times. I used to make it when I had my store, and I used to sell it there. And ever since then, I haven't because I can't eat all that stuff, and I love that stuff. It doesn't have no sugar. This is a, not a sweet cookie or rushkila, but it's very easy and very simple. And I'm gonna show you today how I make my rushkish. Here what I have. I have five pounds of flour here. I have four cubes of butter. This is regular butter. One cup of oil, and I'm using olive oil because it's healthier, so, and I have four teaspoons of salt, and then three tablespoons of yeast. These, you need to have them, um, so what I'm gonna do is pour the yeast and the salt together. Uh, you need enough salt because there's nothing else in this. I'm gonna add my olive oil, and I'm gonna add my butter. And this is what I'm going to need all this together is with just this. Now, depending on the weather, you might need to add some milk. I might have to add some milk, depending on the weather. But it's kind of a damp day today, so we'll see. And also depending on the flowers. This is not a very soft dough but it is soft enough where you want to, um, to be able to roll it. Yeah, I might need some more flour, uh, uh, some milk. I'm gonna add some milk because this flour, last flour I bought, it's very different than the other flours that I had. So I'm gonna pour a cup of flour, uh, milk. So I'm starting with a cup of milk, and it's cold milk. It doesn't have to be hot or, and we're just gonna combine all this. And uh, it's a very, I love eating this with a cup of tea. It is so good, and especially because it's not sweet. Yeah, I have to add more. My mom, I remember my mom making a lot of this. Okay, I'm gonna add another half a cup. And we'll see how it goes. Because you need that to combine together, that, whole, that dough. And you kind of just need mix all this and let it come all together. And then we're going to let it rest. And then we're going to shape it. My niece has been asking my sister to make some of this. These rushkillas. She loves them. And our mom hasn't done it. And she's waiting for me to make them. So I'm going to surprise, it's her birthday today, so I'm going to surprise her with some. And I thought I would, so I decided to make the video. So, anyway. But um, I remember my mom used to make big containers of these. And sometimes that's all we would have in the morning, this with coffee. It was so good. So, anyway, I'm going to let this sit here because I'm going to see if I'm going to need more milk as that flour absorbs all that moisture. Here, friends, I add more. I add two more cups of, uh, of milk. And I've been working this dough. And see, you want when that leaves the pan clean. See, it leaves the bowl all clean. That's when you know the dough 
um, is done. So, and you want it where it's soft, but not too soft where you can't roll it. So, anyway, I'm gonna let it sit here for maybe about 20 minutes. Mother Skilish have rested. So now we're gonna start shaping them. And um, one way I remember my mom telling me is, you know, they're ready. When they start making like little holes in here, um, because that means they've been rising it. So now I'm gonna shape it into a long log. And you don't want it too, too big. But you want at least maybe a couple inches like this to make um, the moshkilash. And this we're gonna make into a row. And then if you cut it and let them rest over there, they, have, um, they puff up more and they become easy. What it is is that gluten has rusted and now it can, have, um, it can roll without shaping it back. I mean, to, when you shape it, it doesn't pull it back. So all I do is I cut everything and you might have to, if the weather is dry, today is a little gloomy, so it, it will probably won't need it. Um, you uh, cover with uh, some damp towels so that it doesn't dry the dough. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut them all and then um, I'll roll them. And that way they all ready. Um, this gets quite a bit. I mean, you know, depending on the, the size you're going to make. But I love making stuff like this because it brings me memories when we were all girls at home. My mom used to have the big wood oven she would have. She would put trays and trays of this because when she would make it, she'd make quite a bit. You go through all this trouble, especially if you have a big family, might as well make it quite a bit. Okay, friends, this is what you want. You want them to be this long length, and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna twist. And then you're gonna put one on the top, one on the bottom, and you're gonna do this. Now that they rested, they're easier to roll. The gluten is a little bit more relaxed, so it's able, it's easier to stretch. And that's all you gotta do. And then after this, they're gonna rest a little bit, probably another 20 minutes, and uh, um, and they're gonna rise, and then we're gonna bake it at 400 until they're golden. And these can last long time in a Titan container in a cool place. You don't wanna keep this in a hot place because it has a lot of the oil and the butter if they have, um, it can get ransom. So, anyway, I'm gonna start shaping all these, and then when I'm ready, I'll come back and I'll show you. Here it is, friends. Just took my hushkilish, the oven. Now, they have the color that I like, but I'm gonna put them back in the oven at 200 so they don't crisp up. They're kind of chewy right now. You want them crispy. But um, they're doughy right now and you kind of want that doughy to kind of crisp up. Mm. This is so good. We used to put butter in this and have with our cup of coffee in the morning or tea. This is what you want. Mm, so good. 
and so simple and it makes quite a bit it made it give me four dozen I have one more pan in the, in the oven that I'm gonna take it out and then I'll have four dozen here so anyway give it a try it might be different with what your recipe that you custom but you know we all need to try different recipes and different ways of making things and uh, well, you sometimes we do try them and we realize, wow, these are really good. So anyway, this just takes back the memories when we were all home. And we would sit all around the table and making all this. So anyway, uh, let's get cooking. Till next time. <music>